Oh my god. Hey guys, what's going on? I had the Banshee pulled up from out back. I want to see what's going on inside these cylinders. So there she is, still looking fresh. For those of you that watched the riding video, I just blew the top end on this thing, hopefully. I'm really praying that the bottom end is good, and I'm hoping that our cool head is good too. So as you can see right here, I already went ahead, drained our radiator fluid. I'm going to get right into it this time. Let's start taking this thing apart and see what's going on inside there. Before I take these front plastics off, I'm going to mark with a sharpie where I'd like to cut them so that the pipes don't rub against the plastic anymore and leave melt marks. Disassembling the Banshee is so easy compared to the Raptor. That was a breeze. Honestly, without filming, I probably could have done that in like 20 minutes. And a lot of you guys ask me how this tank guard holds up. And you can see it's been holding up just fine. Because this was spray painted, so a lot of people thought the gas was going to make it, you know, kind of wear away. But it's been holding up. These graphics probably take a good deal of the rub from my knees and stuff. And the only places that it came down were where the steering stem hits and right here where the seat's rubbing a little bit. And of course, where the bolts were bolted down. But when everything's bolted up, this thing still looks like it was just painted. It's not even wiped off. When I wipe this off, this thing looks like brand new. Oh man, I'm getting pretty nervous to pull this thing off. Please, please, I'm praying that the bottom end is okay.
Oh, man. So there it is. It was the right cylinder. Oh, man. You can see the left one looks good. <laughs> it actually looks great, surprisingly. So it looks like maybe the needle bearing went and chunks of the piston started flying apart and smashing up against the cylinder head. Not too happy about that. So you can see what happened to the dome here. Uh, this right side got trashed. Oh man. At least this side's good though. This side will clean up like brand new. And the good news is these parts are replaceable. I just hope that Trinity still makes this head. I have to find the... Uh, I think these are 21cc domes. I forget. So I'll have to replace this dome. Not the end of the world. So I noticed there were chunks kind of rattling around the, the uh, this uh, red exhaust pipe when I took it off. So I'm assuming that was pieces of the piston. And the cylinder actually looks like it's okay. We'll have to see what the skirts look like. I'm pretty happy right now. As long as we can get the cylinder off, I imagine that the skirts are okay, which that's what I was really worried about because the skirts can fall into the crank and destroy the crank. There's a good chance that my bottom end is perfectly fine. And I bet you I could throw pistons in here and this thing would run, but we're not gonna do that. All right, I'm dying to see if this crank is okay. Let's get these cylinders off. <laughs> see a piece of the piston skirt broke off and um, not really sure what's going on in the crank everything feels okay I mean there doesn't seem to be any up and down play just like the normal side to side action I can feel uh, the wrist pin bearing I think it's trashed on this piston and that's probably what caused all of this to happen so I'm thinking maybe this chunk of piston is wedged down in the crank, and that's what's preventing this from wanting to turn over freely. It does move back and forth. Um, it's hard to do with one hand, but it will move. Something's holding it, though. So we'll see. I'm going to pull this piston off, and maybe I can't imagine this stayed in one piece, but if it did, this broken off piece, we'll be able to fish that out and maybe like a couple pieces. That'd be really the only way that I wouldn't have to pull the bottom end, but I don't know. I'm not getting my hopes up here, so I'm going to pull the piston off and see what we got. So I got the pistons off. Both of the wrist pins were shot. I mean, this one was still kind of intact, but when I pushed out the wrist pin, the needles broke apart. And that one, at least, I didn't get any in the crankcase because I was able to fit a uh, towel underneath. This piston, I couldn't really fit the towel underneath. And there was shit in there anyway. But the, the wrist pins were definitely the cause of this catastrophic failure. Well, I shouldn't say catastrophic, really. Honestly, I think the crank is okay. Uh, the, the rod uh, play and everything seems all right. I don't know, though. Like, It's weird. This will move freely as long as it's not at the bottom portion of the revolution. I'm not going to play with it because it can move, but there's obviously something. A piece of the piston or pieces of that wrist, uh, bearing, wrist pin bearing are down there, and I don't want to mess up the case. 
So even if the crank is good, I'm gonna have to take this bottom end apart and clean out the cases. Here are the cylinders. This is the one that had no damage. And here's the other one. Honestly, this could probably be reused. There is one gouge in it, but that could be honed and that could be reused, but I'm not gonna do that. I have the original cylinders that I pulled off of this quad when I bought it. They're OEM Yamaha, and look at that port job on there. Really nice, aggressive port. So I'm gonna paint these up, and these cylinders are good, but I'm gonna get them bored out, probably to 68 millimeters. Order my new dome, and then probably get some Wiseco pistons. And then I guess uh, the next step is to take apart that bottom end. We'll see what's going on in this thing. And uh, might end up just putting a new crank in it anyway because I don't really want to take any chances. Okay, guys. So now you know what happened to the Banshee. It's looking like it's going to be a top end and bottom end job. At least opening up that bottom end just to see what's going on in there. And to clean out the pieces of that piston and the wrist pin. So for now, the Banshee's going to go out back. I'm going to pack everything up, make sure everything stays nice and clean in there. And I'm going to finish the Raptor. Right now it's Tuesday and I still have the bottom end sitting just how I left it in the last video. But I should be putting this video up by Thursday. I did get my brand new CP piston in the mail. So come this Thursday, I'm going to be tearing apart this bottom end. And then start rebuilding this Raptor up. Now for those of you guys that don't follow the channel, this top end kit cost about 100 bucks shipped on eBay. So I do not recommend this kit at all. If anything, if you're forced to buy this kit, at least get a quality wrist pin because that is definitely the reason that this thing failed. I also had to clean these cylinders up quite a bit when I got it. There were lots of shavings and all the channels and the jackets of these cylinders. Really just not too crisp and I had to clean up the, uh, I ported this and polished the exhaust just to make, you know, make it a little bit cleaner and stuff. So if you're handy, you can make it work, but really it's not that much more money to use OEM cylinders and get some good Wiseco pistons. I mean, you see the kind of damage that it's going to cost. It's just going to cost you more money and time down the road. I definitely do not recommend getting those cheapy pistons. So for now, guys, you have the Raptor to look forward to. That's going to be coming soon. Then it's going to be the Banshee. We're going to be putting bigger carbs on, better carbs. PWK is probably 28 millimeters. We'll be doing the top end as well, bottom end, like I was saying. So that'll be in the future. For now, though, that's going to be it for today. Please give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more content like this. If you haven't yet, please comment and subscribe to my channel if you like this. And otherwise, guys, enjoy your week, and I will see you soon. And just some real quick eye candy for you guys that were interested in the LT1 Firebird. This baby's looking really good. Pretty much all done. All that's left to do is touch up this front nose piece, which I'm going to be doing soon. But the rest of the car looks beautiful, as you can see. So I ain't gonna lie, life's tough Try to get by, life's rough Try to do it right, it's not enough Even though you try, you still mess up But I'm still gonna fight for what I love Still gonna die for what I love Still gonna try, I won't give up Still gonna fight until I've won They say I'm way too obsessed And I've got nothing left And I'm not quite there yet But those words they'll regret Cause I've got something left And I'm not giving in I will not let them win I won't stop till the end no